Welcome to the Oxygen Podcast, Navigating Life and Breaking the Chains of Self-Doubt. I am your host, Jen, and I am so happy to be here with you today. Today, I'm going to share some of my top tips around nutrition as requested from some of our audience members. Now, I am not going to give you a whole host of what to do, how to eat, because we all have different dietary needs. We all have different allergies. We all have different lifestyles. But what I am going to do is I am going to break down the basics. So you have a basic idea of how to start to shift your eating habits to start to feel good. So this is all about navigating life, right? There's so much information coming at us all the time. So here's my top tip when making any changes in your healthy lifestyle, in your eating habits. Number one, we are all different. So we start from where we are. That is the first and foremost top tip. Not comparing ourselves to others, not worrying about what the other person is doing, but really diving deep into what we're doing. The first thing that I would recommend is start to keep a track, not really log everything down, but start to have an awareness of what you're doing throughout the day, what you're eating, what you're drinking. Because it all comes down to awareness. If we are not aware of what we're doing, we can't make changes. So that's my number one tip. Just really start to have an idea. And if you're the type of person, you're busy, you're on the go, you have kids, career, and you're eating out five or six days a week, you're pulling into that fast establishment and you're getting processed foods or you're run, you're constantly on the go, that's okay. So maybe an adjustment for your nutrition and your new wellness lifestyle is instead of going out to eat or grabbing meals six days a week, maybe you cut back and you only do four days a week. I want you to think of these tips and tools as simple adjustments. When we start to think about change, sometimes we go all in because we want to see the results faster. And when you go all in on things, your body and your mind shut down. It's just too much on your nervous system. So the idea of this entire podcast and everything I preach is simplicity with consistency. So if you are here with me today and you're wanting to make changes, which I know you are, or you would not be listening to this podcast. Thank you for being part of the family. Make sure you like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Top tip so far is just having an awareness of what you're currently eating and then start to make small adjustments. So things that you want to start to adjust is how many times you're going out to eat. Even if you're getting a healthy variation, it's still not home cooking. You're still not aware of everything that's going in the food. And if you are eating outside days a week, maybe you cut it back to four days a week or three days a week, whatever it is. That one extra day that you are home cooking is enough to start with. So I want to reassure you that every little change is enough. Top tips, water. Making sure you're consuming enough water. Here's the key. If you're going to the bathroom and it is bright yellow, not to get into our personal habits, well, then you're clearly not drinking enough water. You want to drink anywhere from, I'm going to say roughly 60 to 120 ounces of water. 60 is on the low side, but if you're not used to drinking any water, I don't want you to start with 60 ounces. You want to slowly ease yourself into these new habits. Having awareness, maybe it's you're starting to drink four, eight ounces of water. Water is so beneficial. It cleanses the body. Think about it as this amazing drink that is actually cleaning out your body, cleaning out the cells, flushing out the system. It comes with inflammation. My number one reason, I am not going to lie and I am not shy about it, is what it does for my skin. I love being hydrated because it keeps your skin moist. It keeps your skin feeling good. It keeps you from wanting to overeat when you're fully hydrated. Sometimes when we're feeling hungry, it's really that there's a lack of water in our system. So drinking enough water maintains hydration, it boosts energy levels, promotes skin, and it also supports weight loss. Overall health benefits that it increases circulation and nutritional support. It helps with digestion. That is by far my number one tip aside from awareness. 
So far, we have awareness of what you're eating, making small, simplistic changes with consistency and increasing the current amount of water. The other question I get is, what should I eat? When you are looking at your plate, think of the protein, a lean protein as a fit or a stack of playing cards. That's the amount of protein, anywhere from three to five ounces. On your plate, you also want to have a lot of greens and vegetables and then a simple starch, whether it's a potato, rice, quinoa, some kind of small starch. And then I love adding salads to all of my meals. I can get a ton of vegetables in there. When you're, again, you're looking at a plate, do you want it to be lean proteins, greens, and a smaller amount of starches. My biggest suggestion when eating is eating from a dinner plate and moving to a salad plate as your main plate for eating dinners. You can fill that smaller plate and get the sensation that you're eating, but you're not overeating. If you were to fill that small plate and move it to a bigger dinner plate, you're probably going to get another five or 600 calories, unnecessary calories, depending on what you're eating. The key about protein, people ask me how much protein to eat. That's going to depend on your activity levels. The average person, so if you're weighing 120 pounds, I'm going to use that as an example. You want to eat about 0.5 grams. If you're not active, maybe you're walking, you're gardening, you're moving your body. So that would be about 60 grams of protein throughout the day. If you're active, like I'm super active, I'm working out, I'm riding my bike, I'm rowing, I'm walking the dogs. So I am more active. So I shoot for one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I would be eating 120 grams of protein. This is just, I want you to remember, these are just guidelines. Nothing is set in stone because we all have different bodies. We have different activity levels. We have different lifestyles. This is general guidelines for you. Awareness of your water, awareness of what your plate should look like, and then awareness of how much protein. I am noticing the more people I talk to, they're not getting enough protein, and protein helps build muscles. It helps repair muscles. So you want to make sure that you are getting enough protein in your diet. Things to avoid. So a couple things to avoid. Anything that has a laundry list of ingredients that you don't know, those are chemicals, processed food going into your system. Do you want to look on the front of the, any package is the advertisement. That's where they're going to promise you the world, right? Gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, high protein, all natural. And then you turn it over and you start to read the ingredients and there's really nothing all natural in there. There's processed foods, there's sugar, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. If anything you take from this podcast today is have an awareness of what you're eating and then how you feel. Our bodies are a great indication on whether a food is fueling us or a food is depleting us. And you'll notice sometimes if you have a big heavy meal, you feel tired and lethargic. Maybe you should have had a little bit less or maybe that's not the meal that's best suited for your body. Another thing is when you're in the food store, the best thing that you can do is stay on the outside aisles. Did you ever notice that's where the fruits are, the vegetables are, the lean meats, the dairy, everything is on the outside aisle. Inside is where you're going to find your box food, your packaged food, your processed food. That is what I wanted to share today. I don't ever want anything to feel overwhelming. What I found true is simplicity and consistency is the key to making change. And that has to do with anything. And I'll talk about that in later podcasts as far as working out. Keeping it super simple. One change today done with consistency will lead to the big changes and results you're after. Again, I'm just going to recap this for you. Top tips, number one, have an awareness of what you're eating, what you're drinking, and then how it makes you feel. Number two, start to have an awareness of how much water you're drinking. Number three, look at your plate. Your overall plate should have a lean protein, greens, vegetables. Think colors of the rainbow. The more colors on your plate, the better it is. And then also some kind of starch. We're not going crazy with the pasta because what I'm noticing is People are unaware of portion sizes. 
If you put a whole bowl of pasta, you're probably getting like four, maybe five serving sizes. So just being mindful of actually what's going on your plate and what's going in your body. Those small changes are going to lead to your big result. Stay away from processed food, high fats, fats, because those all cause inflammation in the body, which causes the body to work even harder to maintain an overall feeling of health and vitality. The other thing is when we are eating such things as granola bars and protein bars, and we're thinking these things are great for us. And I'm not saying they're not good for us. Overall, they could be good for us. But again, read the back of the label. Sometimes they're full with sugar, preservatives, and added ingredients that you normally would not be eating. I hope this was a helpful podcast. If it is, share it with your friends. Share it with as many people as you can because at the end of the day, again, it's simplicity, small changes done with consistency. As always, I want you to remember a few things. You are meant for greatness. You are meant to feel good, live good, and have best quality of life. And in doing that, it's just having an awareness of things that you're currently doing, making small changes, simple changes with consistency. You have everything inside of you right now to create the life that you want. If there's ever any topics, I do take topics. That's why we're talking about foods today. Message me. Reach out to me on social media, Oxygen Mind Body. My website is oxygen.life. I am here for you to help you navigate this thing called life, break the chains of self-doubt so we can step into our power and become the people that we are supposed to be. On that note, have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon.